Well, hello there. Or should I say good morning? Um, it is probably about too early for me, let's be honest. It's uh, 4.46 a.m. I've been up since about 3.30 and this year I've decided to try and head out and, and take more photos and try and improve my photography. And this year I've decided that I'm not only going to go and do that, but I'm also going to try and document what it is that I'm doing so that way I can actually see if I have improved in my techniques or if I'm just staying stagnant and not really improving at all. Um, now, this morning I've headed out to a local trail. It's probably about 20 minutes, 25 minutes from home. And I'm trying to, trying is the operative word. <laughs> I'm trying to race the, the good light. Um, sunrise is officially in 10 minutes and I can see off in the distance the clouds are catching that light <laughs> and I'm nowhere near where I wanted to be this morning. Let's just say I should not have snoozed that first alarm and I should have actually gotten out of bed and got a wriggle on. But alas, not much I can do about it now. I must continue to press on and hope that I can make do with what available light I've got left. This is what I have to face. Uneven stairs to hopefully get a nice shot of that large rock formation just there. But unfortunately, most of the best light has already passed. I will persevere as we still have the magic hour, or what's left of it probably about 20 minutes left of magic hour so now that we're probably within 500 meters of our destination let's go see if we can make the mess of most of this and actually get a shot <laughs> sun has just started cresting the horizon, well, my relative horizon, and it's casting beautiful golden light up over this rock structure, white rock, as they call it. Don't ask me for the indigenous name for it. I am probably going to butcher it, and I feel as though that would be disrespectful, so I'm not even going to try. But the problem is, it's surrounded by essentially a eucalypt forest. <laughs> and I'm just trying to find the <clears throat> best possible angle, or even any angle, to shoot it. Which is proving to be very difficult. So, I may miss this one, but uh... I'll keep going and see what I can find. You 
So I think I've got a composition that might work. Um, you've kind of got the rock structure that is white rock leading you up and into the frame and kind of caressing the corner of the frame here. You have a little bit of the path coming through the bottom here, um, but you have all this nice color and structure in the rock there. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the sky doesn't blow it out completely. I may have to do a blend composition, which is probably gonna be a first for me, so that'll be something new. Um, I've whacked a polarizer on there to hopefully give it a little bit of a pop of color, but I honestly don't think it m will need it at all. It's probably more there just to help stop down just a touch. Australia, home to some of the world's deadliest creatures, and in my opinion, the world's most annoying, the bloody mosquito. I stopped for maybe three, five minutes at most to admire the view and quickly send the drone up, and I swear I have been eaten alive. I honestly think I may have lost about half a litre of blood to these bloody mosquitoes. I've got to remember the uh, repellent next time. Now I think that probably about does it for this morning. I'm gonna pack it up, hightail at home, go get myself a coffee, and go spend the day with my beautiful girls. Now I would actually encourage any of you watching this to actually head out and try something different. And if you do head out, and you do head out onto a local trail, I just would encourage you to leave no trace. So what that means is you can go out and enjoy the area, but whatever you take with you into the wilderness or the bushland or anything like that, take back out with you. So essentially the only thing you should be leaving is your footprints and maybe some sweat if you're really hot and sweaty like me, in particular in summer in Australia. <clears throat> so that would be my parting piece of wisdom, <laughs> if you can call it that, and uh, hope we have a great year. Bye for now.